Hey guys, um, I'm just going to be answering a really, really commonly asked um, question um, that I get. And it's basically, uh, the premise is, like, hey, I already know how to draw. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with my sketches and my pen and ink and all my traditional stuff, but I know I don't know anything about digital. I just want to get my get a, get a photograph or a scan of my drawing onto the computer. I'll do a little bit of touch up in Photoshop, and then I can you know put it on the web or, or whatever. Like, how do I do that? That's 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 the premise. Cool. So I think a lot of people, a lot of you guys will know when you scan or when you photograph your work, it can come out either the colors are a little weird or um, uh, it's too light or too faint or you get all this kind of like, this is, this is what we refer to as artifacts. So all this other kind of like scribble in the background and stuff you don't want. And, uh, yeah, so how do we get rid of this? How do we do it? Like, okay. So first things first, um, make... So, uh, before I start editing anything, uh, I make a duplicate of this layer because if I screw everything up, at least I'll have my original uh, un untouched layer underneath. So first I go Control L, sorry, sorry, uh, Control J or Command J, which duplicates my layer. And as you can see, that's my top layer and underneath is the original. Um, uh, make sure that this thing is in uh, the color mode is set to RGB first, so image mode. Um, sometimes you may have scanned it in accidentally in grayscale or maybe in CMYK. Uh, I'm just going to work with, if it's going on the internet, you want it to be in RGB color mode. If you want it for print, uh, it will be in CMYK. And cool, so RGB, all good. Now, I'm going to go to the layers. Sorry, on the, the levels option. So that's Control L or Command L. And what the, the levels does is it shows you how much of white and black is in an image. So as we can see, um, there's a shitload of white and pretty much no black and a tiny bit of, uh, of, of grace of mid, of mid tone. Um, so what I want to do is when I increase this, I'm bumping up the level of black. And I can increase the level of white way too, uh, that's way too much, but you know, you can figure out how much you want to do. Um, another trick is if you hold down Alt while clicking this, this shows you the amount of pure black. So if I just had pure black, these are the sections of pure black in my image. There we go. And maybe that's too much, like that's way too much, but also like if I wanted to see the areas of pure white, so again, there is not much pure white at all it's just these little kind of speckles i want to increase the amount of pure white more 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 something like that yeah that's kind of what i want sweet Alrighty. um if you're like me and you sometimes draw um in like a blue pencil underneath um and you want to like get that out of the get that out of the image um, what you can do is press Control U or Command U, and that will and change the saturation down to to the very end. So that changes everything to black and white. Same thing can be done if you press Control Shift and U, and that sets the automatic command to desaturate your image. So we're good now. Um, again, I want to get rid of all these kind of artifacts below. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the lasso, which is L, go to L, and you can use you know, this, is, this is a selection tool for making, for areas. So if you want to just paint within a certain area, you know, like, you know, that's how it works. So I'm going to just take my um, lasso, and I can just, I'm just going to make a great crude selection. Crude, 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 just around the main bits that I want. Um, let's say uh, I've missed a bit, or if I press the shift, I can uh, add to it. I, if I hold on shift 
I can add to it. And if I hold down um, Alt, I can cut out what I don't want. Cool. Yeah, for the sake of argument, let's just say that's exactly how I want it. Um, I'll press Control J, which duplicates what I've got selected. Okay. Now I'm just going to shut off all my layers underneath. As we can see, that's my. I'll just make a. I'll just fill the background with pure white. So paint bucket, which is over here. Paint bucket. I just change the color to white. Bam, and we're pretty good. And if I want to, um, actually, no, we're good for the moment. Um, if I, yeah, I'll just. As we, yeah, as we can see, there's still a little bit of like gray here and some white there. So I'm going to combine these two together. Uh, hold down shift, click on these two, press control E. I'll join them together. Now, to get all this other kind of stuff out, um, What's good is just selecting like a, a soft round brush like that. So like normally it would just be like with that kind of brush. Set it, um, choose white. Go over here to um, the blending mode, change it to color dodge. And then maybe change the opacity to maybe about 10% or so. And you can sort of just very sort of lightly kind of burn it burn out all that art all the artifacts and the thing about why I chose a, a color dodge brush is that let's say I go I go over the line it doesn't affect the dark lines very much it's like if I set it to a very low opacity like 10% or maybe even less it's just going to be affecting those really light areas and it's gonna, if, I, if I go over the black it's okay I, I haven't destroyed everything so again blah 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 just keep going do the whole thing um, Cool, cool, cool. Cool. I just paused the thing and then finished the exercise, and now it's all good now. Um, all my edges are nice and clean. Uh, now, you can leave it like that. The background is nice and white. It's all good. Um, you can, if you want, add some more tone to this. So, what I would do is I would then, I would. Um, I would set this layer to uh, all your line work. I set that to multiply. <clears throat> and then, so I'll just label that lines. And then underneath, um, I'll make a layer. So basically, um, I can just paint underneath this thing. Let's just create this crazy purple. I can paint. Underneath this thing, right, and um, the black lines still show up, right. So you know, if I if I wanted to, I'll just I'll just choose a little bit better. So you know, I can go in and give a little bit of color here. Again, this is my like my color layer. You know, maybe you know, I don't know. We can just <laughs> we can just give him like you know, color the jewelry a little bit. You know so forth and so on you get the idea maybe we can just we can just color the tusks that kind of thing too that kind of thing yeah yeah um yeah I think that's it cool. all right um what else Yeah, and so uh, same thing. Like if you wanted to, and if you wanted to, like add some more like shading and all this kind of stuff. So again, again underneath, I'll just really I'll just do uh, spit in his, his face, right? So I'll just do this bit here, add that in. And then yeah, you, and then you, and it's just paint. Just you know, add whatever like texture and, and tone you need to, kind of thing. Give it some more, do some more rendering. Just eyes and shadow a little bit. This kind of thing. So forth and so on. 
blah 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 blah. So you get it how you want it. Yeah, I think that's it's a pretty easy thing to to grasp. I think that's a pretty um, that'll, that'll that'll get you on your feet. You wanna you know, start, then you can just on and on and on. You know, if if you're if you're if you need to, you know, you can make a layer above your line work, uh, and then you know, if you wanna add, you know, stuff like that, a bit of a shine, this kind of thing. You can get paint on top of it or or whatever. I think my image is a little bit low resolution, so I would need to. Oh, okay, yeah. While while, while I'm here, right? Okay, at a hundred percent, this is my max resolution. So let's say I need to add more, right? I kind of can't. Like if I zoom in, right? I get all this pixelated stuff, right? So I, I can't I can't make the proper lines that I need, right? So okay, so I go um, Control Alt I, and okay, I can see that that's my resolution seventy two, blah blah blah. I can just I'll just increase it. Uh, let's see, we can make it four thousand. If I do four thousand, will that give me enough? That's yes, definitely enough. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now it's way it's lots more resolution, like that. And then I can like go and paint more to how I like it. Yeah. Cool. cool, cool. You get the idea. So yeah, I would use my line work uh, in the beginning. I'd have my line work on top, and then I put all my shading and stuff underneath. Um, but once, if I if if it, if it starts to get in my way, then I put a layer on top of um, put a layer on top of my lines and just paint. And yeah, I think I can, I'll show you what this turned out with in the end. Um, yeah, so in the end, something like that. So Ganesh, I had like this uh, sort of a, a dark Ganesh, and I had like a light Ganesh as well, which they were sort of designed to be like mirror images of each other. So if you had them like, you have them like sort of like, I did like a dark and a light version kind of thing. But yeah, that's it for part one. Thank you.